Point A and point B are on a straight line, and the length of AB is 2. Point C and point D are above line AB, and the lengths of BC and BD are 2 square root of 15. The length of AC is longer than the lengths of AD, and cosine C and cosine D are the square root of 15 over 4. What is the area of ABCD? In triangle ACB, we are given the lengths of AB and BC, and the value of cosine C. So we can find the length of AC using the law of cosines. In triangle ACB and triangle ADB, the lengths of BC and BD are the same. AB is a common side, and cosine C and cosine D are the same. And it is given that AC is longer than AD. So the length of AC is 8, and the length of AD is 7. Now we can see that triangle ACB is a right triangle by the Pythagorean theorem. The area of triangle ACB is equal to 1 half times 2 times 2 square root of 15. Since angle ADB and angle ACB are the same, we see that quadrilateral ABCD is inscribed in a circle. Because inscribed angles subtended by the same arc on a circle are the same. Triangle ACD is also a right triangle. Because the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. The length of DC can be found using the Pythagorean theorem. So the area of triangle ACD is equal to 1 half times 7 times the square root of 15. Therefore the area of ABCD is 11 square root of 15 over 2.